Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Julie and I talk about handbags here on this channel. And if you're not new and returning, thank you so much for joining again. I am doing a video today called my top five most used luxury bags. And this is a tag video. It was started like a year and a half ago, maybe not that long, but it was started by Mini Minks for All. Um, this tag has gone around and around and I was tagged very graciously by my friend Danny and his channel is called Nurture Couture. I'm going to put his channel down below. You guys, he's so sweet. He has a great collection of Longchamp bags. He likes LV, Longchamp, he likes Coach. So check him out. Um, okay, so the definition of luxury to me is basically anything that I love. That's it doesn't have to be a certain price range. It doesn't have to be whatever. Luxuries are non-necessities in life. That's what I kind of view them as. So these bags, a lot of people kind of view them as being contemporary. To me, they're luxury, and that's why I'm gonna go ahead and do this video. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. These are, I rotate my bags so much, it's hard to call these my top five most used because it's really hard. A lot of these are pretty standout, I would have to say, as yes, I definitely use them a lot. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and rank these. So starting at like number five, which would be like the least most used, does that make sense? This is probably, yeah, there. At number five is my Blue Coach Bandit shoulder bag. Um, what draws me to this bag seriously is the color. The colorway is absolutely stunning. I love the silver hardware and I just dig the simplicity of this bag, the structure, the craftsmanship. I mean, I rant and rave all the time about the Bandit bags. I have many videos about this bag. It's in like so many of my videos. So I just really, really love it. Again, the interior is that gorgeous contrasting brown shade. I tend to grab this bag a lot when I travel, and I do travel often now. And um, and then I also really just like to kind of use this bag kind of in the summertime a lot because I don't like heavy, big bags on my body. And in the summer, I really try to be hands-free as much as possible. And yeah, the bandit's just great. In the back, I stick my phone. I just recently upgraded my phone, you guys, to the 15 Pro Max loving it and I checked my Pro Max because it's bigger. I have put it in like my handbag back pockets and it fits in here so I'm so stoked. So yes, this would happen to be the least of the most used bags if I were to rank them. So my Coach Bandit shoulder bag in Cobalt Sport Blue. I think yes, Sport Blue is the actual technical color of this bag bag four, which would be second. Yeah, I'm confusing myself. So um, I do reach for this one often. And, you know, the tabby quilted craze is just, I don't know. Like, I won't buy that bag. I won't because I have three of these. And I just really like the size. I also don't like the division that the tabby has. And this bag has one big space. I mean, it's just one big compartment. You do have this little thing here, which that serves the purpose perfectly for me. But everything is just one big space. And then also, I like turn locks. I like the turn lock on this bag. So this black one in particular though, it is so soft. It's softer than my other two that I have. And you know, I just feel like the Pillow Madison is not gonna go out of style. Like if the YSL Lulu goes out of style, then this bag might go out of style. If the Chanel 19 goes out of style, then this bag might go out of style. You guys, I just feel like it's such a classic piece that it's just, you know, classic, timeless, all of those adjectives. Um, I freaking adore this bag so much and I wear it just doubled up, you know, here and wear it out the door. It's just, I really, really love it. It's so comfortable and it holds basically everything that I carry. So um, 
it's kind of along the lines of maybe a small bag for me because now I've been using much bigger bags for my goods and just, you know, you do have to really kind of piece things into this bag. That's how I am, but I just, yeah, I just really enjoy the pillow medicines. They're not going anywhere. Um, so, but the black one is my most used out of, you know, I have the papaya and I have the wine. This is definitely, obviously it goes with more stuff. So that's why I reach for it more. Okay, I don't know if it's really fair to include this bag, but I'm going to because I literally just got it three weeks ago when Naomi sent it to me. But it's like used, you guys. I use this bag. It is so amazing, perfect. And it's the um, Naomi Crafted Hermes Garden Party Inspired, and it's made out of dust bags from Hermes. I cannot believe how much I love this. It has a beautiful snap closure here, and I have a little small leather good that she's created also, and that's in the bottom of this bag. Um, these little side snaps do undo, but I always tend to keep them closed up because I just like that look a little bit more. Um, but no, this is just a great running around bag. Like I tend to just throw stuff in and that's how I am. Like went to the library, the library books and went into here, went to meetings. All my documents can go right into this bag. I tend to really reach and gravitate towards big bags now. Um, and I, I don't know. I just love the detail that she put into this bag. And I love the bottom. The leather feels really, really nice. It's that very heavily pebble grained leather. But no, I just find it's just classic and chic looking. It's definitely kind of pulling at more of my aesthetic lately. I just really, really enjoy it. And I just found it really kind of fun that I grabbed this little rodeo off of Amazon. Um, I think it was $8 and they still have them on there. If you have any of the Naomi crafted Hermes um, dust bag bags, you know, check it out if you want to add a little bit of fun. So yeah, I would have to absolutely say that this is definitely a carried bag for sure. Perfect for travel actually. Um, so yeah, thank you so much Naomi again for sending me this bag. I you guys check her out she's such a good it's just a supportive person my gosh um okay so this is up there in the middle of the five the mini florentine satchel by dooney and burke is chef's kiss i love this bag and i have it in chestnut as well out of the two i use this one more i don't know why i just Okay, I think I know why. The black on black is just calling to me. It just calls to me, I don't know. It's got this black zipper tape. The other ones have red zipper tape. And I just really kind of think that it's just a striking bag. It is just, it's just gorge. I love it. The size works great for me because it can be a shoulder bag, it can be a crossbody, and it lays great. I like the mini size more than the micro. The micro is cute. I've never, I've never ordered it or I've never bought it, but just looking at reviews between the two, the opening of the mini is bigger. It's like an inch and a half larger. So, but the size of the bags are pretty similar. So that's the interesting thing. But yeah, I just love the Dooney and Burke Florentine satchels. The whip stitch handles, amazing. Definitely a nod to equestrian vibes and um, also kind of a nod to a little bit of the Balenciaga city vibes. I also loved those bags at one point in time. So I just, yeah, I definitely reach for this bag often. It's a workhorse, it's a medium sized bag. Those are the types of bags I usually tend to gravitate on the daily for which would be the medium sized bags in my collection. So it's just perfect. I have compared this bag to the Ruby 25. I'll link that video down below um, because they are very similar. I'd have to say that capacity wise, it's also pretty similar to like a Rogue 25. 
Um, but yeah, just a medium sized, good old bag. Second to most used for sure. Y'all knew that this would be my number one most used bag. So most used absolutely by far. And that's why I have four of them now. Um, the Marc Jacobs small, size small mini, the tote bag. Um, I don't mind the lettering. In fact, I love it because lately logos are great. Like to me, I, I think it's fun to have some logos, you know, maybe not all my bags have logos on them, but I love it. Like, and get this. I mean, Mark Jacobs designed a freaking home run with this bag. He, he knocked it out of the park when he designed the tote bags. That's why there's so many sizes, so many textures. It's just awesome. It just, and I'd have to say that the colorway of this one for me works with everything that I have. Bar none, I really love blue. Blue's my favorite color and the navy deep blue sea is just, it's gorge. Um, I have red, I have citronelle, and then I just got the forest. Um, and I did unveil that one and I got another medium sized one. I just, Mark Jacobs, you know, he has other bags besides the tote bags too that are really, really killer. And I just don't know why he's not getting more press on the other bags besides the tote bag. But yeah, I just find that I use this bag so much because it's kind of like one of those bags, what do I use, what do I use? Oh, the tote bag. I mean, it's so versatile. I mean, it's just easy to use. So <sighs> gorgeous. I love the leather too. So, all right. Well, that is it for my video. Um, I'll tag some of my friends down below. I get it that this tag has been done quite a bit. And if you've done it and I've tagged you, I'm sorry, but yeah, I will tag you anyways. Thank you so much, Danny, for your sweet tag. Um, and thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, stay tuned. I'm still trying to get answers from Josh as to what bags he likes in my collection. And that is a process. He's very, very busy and we just don't talk about bags ever to each other. So I had to kind of make it a point to ask him what bags he likes and why. So that'll be another video that I'm gonna do, but um, okay, that is all I've got for you for today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.